Well, hey there, guys and gals. I'm Colin from FruitsOfSpirit.com, and I've got a story for you guys today. Today's story is called The Parable of the Persistent Widow. One day, Jesus wanted to tell his disciples how to pray, and he wanted them to know to pray without giving up. So he told this story. He said, in a town, there was a judge who didn't care about people, and he even didn't care about God. Also in this town, there was a widow who had been wronged by someone else in the town. She came to the judge to seek justice, but he didn't give it to her. So she continued to come back to the judge and ask him to grant justice against the person who had done this wrong to her. He said no time and time again, but finally after some time, he thought to himself, even though I don't care about this problem, this widow is not going to stop bothering me. Because of this, I will give her justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. Now this story seems a little bit strange, but let's talk about it. So Jesus told his disciples this parable to show them how to pray and never give up. In this story, we have a widow that's supposed to represent us. But who is this judge? Surely Jesus isn't comparing God to an unjust judge. What Jesus wants us to see here is that God is not like this judge. He is good and he is just. Because of this, whenever we come before him with our problems and cry out to him, he'll always answer. And he won't delay in answering our prayers. He'll make it happen and quickly. Then Jesus ends by saying, however, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? But why does Jesus mention faith? What does that have to do with persistence or prayer? Well, let's look at it this way. If we don't have faith that God's going to do what he says he'll do, we won't be like this persistent widow. We'll give up because we don't believe that he's going to work in the way that he tells us he will. But if we have faith, we'll continue asking and asking and seeking God until he gives us an answer. Before I finish up with this story, I just want to let you guys know that we're really glad that you're here. Please do stick around to the end of the video if you'd like to receive a free coloring page of the illustration that you're seeing drawn in this video. Also, if you guys have been enjoying this video so far, please do consider liking this video as well as subscribing to our channel. It would mean a bunch to us. Alright, let's get back to the story. A long time ago, God told me that he wanted me to share about him with everyone that I met. Initially, I was really afraid to do this, and I didn't know how, but I trusted God and I stepped out and I decided that I was going to share with everyone that I saw about Jesus. I started sharing day after day after day, but I didn't find anyone that was interested in the message. But God told me to keep going and not give up. About six months later, I finally found someone that was interested in Jesus, and they chose to accept Jesus into their life and make him their Lord. You know, that was one of the greatest days in my life. When we continue to be persistent in what God has for us, as well as spending time in prayer, God will do amazing things in our life. But it's not easy to get there. Persistence isn't an easy or fun thing, but it's something that has great reward at the end. So I know I want persistence and faith. How about you? I just want to give a huge thank you to each of you for sticking around through this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed the parable with the persistent widow. As we promised, we've got a free coloring page available on our website. You can find that at fruitsofspirit.com. So once again, that's www.fruitsofspirit.com. Also, if you guys enjoyed the content so far, please do consider subscribing to this channel. It helps us out a bunch and we'd be super grateful. Thank you guys so much.